Hi, this is Julie. Um, in this video we're going to work on some examples of writing uh, numbers in standard form uh, from word name form. So let's look at a couple of examples here. We're going to start off with just some smaller numbers. So first of all we'll look at this first example here. We are um, going to write the number 359 as a numeral. And when it says numeral uh, you'll sometimes see that in instructions. They just mean a regular number, so a number in standard form as we normally write numbers. Well, we've looked already at how to take a number in standard form and write it in word name form, so now we're just going in the opposite direction. And really what I'm going to write out is, in this case, very much what it sounds like when I read it. 359. Well, I know that if I have 300, that means my number is going to start with 3, and 59 means that I have a 5 in the tens place and a 9 in the ones place. So I would just write out the number 359. So that's pretty um, straightforward. Let's look at another example. This one's a little bit trickier. Um, I'm writing the number 406 and what's tricky about this one is that I have 400 uh, but then I just have 6, uh, which is going to be in the ones place, and there is actually no tens digit here. So to write out 406, or sorry, see I said and there, that's wrong, I should say 406. Uh, 400 means I'm going to have a 4 in the hundreds place, uh, 6 is going to go in the ones place, and because I don't have a tens place, uh, I'm going to fill in a 0 there. So 406 just looks like 406. Let's look at a couple of longer uh, numbers here. So if I have a number that's pretty big, so say the example here, 215,634, and I want to write that as a numeral. Um, one of the things that I'm going to look for are the groups or the names of the groups um, or periods that numbers are broken down into with place values. Um, and so those are going to be words like thousand, million, billion, etc. And those are going to help me break up this long word name uh, into sections so that I can more easily write the number. Now what would make this a whole lot easier would be if this word name had commas in it. And oftentimes you will see the commas, but we're going to look at some examples where there are no commas and how you can deal with that. So I'm going to identify where this word thousand is. Thousand is going to help me break up the number um, because I know that everything that comes before the thousands place then is going to be in that thousands period and everything that comes after that word is going to be in the hundreds section or below. So if I look before the word thousand what I have is the word 215. So if I think about my place value chart, if I go over to the thousands section which is down here, um, what I can do is I can fill in the number 215 in that thousands section. And then after the thousands I have the number 634 and so I'm going to fill in 634 in those last three place value positions. And so now whatever it now is the number 215,000 634. And so you can sort of double check as you read the number out loud to yourself or the standard form number to yourself. Does it match the words that you were given? And in this case it does. When I read the number basically what I have are the same or what I say are the words that are on the screen there. Alright, let's look at another example. Okay, I'm going to write the word this time 326,172,034. So so here's another good example. Um, you know, it, it seems like it should be pretty simple to translate this from words to numbers, but there's so many words that sometimes it can get confusing. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to look for those big group names. So million is a name of a, a period in the place value chart. Um, thousand is the name of a period in the place value chart. And um, I'm going to use this to break up my number. And the other thing I can think about is that this is where the commas are going to go. So what I have before the millions group is 326. So I'm going to go over here to my millions on the place value chart and I'm going to fill in 326. Okay, there's my comma, matches the comma that's here on the place value chart. 
Next thing that I've got after the million is 172,000. So this is going to go into the thousands section and I'm going to write in the number 172. Okay, and I know that there's going to be a comma after that. There's a comma on my chart. Last thing that I have here is the number 34. So I know that if it's just 34, I'm going to put a 0 into the hundreds place, a 3 into the tens place, and a 4 into the ones place. So the actual number in standard form would look like 326, comma, 172, comma, 034. And if I were to read that number out loud, I would say 326 million, 172,000, 34. And that would match the numbers that I, or the words that I was given. All right, one more example. This is going to be a really big one, um, and I'm going to do it without a place value chart. So this time I'm writing 4,736,351,602 as a number. So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to look for all those uh, period names. So billion is one of them. Million is another one. Thousand is another one, and then that pretty much brings me to the end. You'll also notice in this number, as it's written out in words here, we do have the commas, and that actually is very helpful because the commas are always going to go along with those, uh, the period names, uh, and they'll be in the same place in the number. So I'm going to start off here. I know I'm writing four billion, and it's going to be followed by a comma, and so it's just going to be the number four followed by a comma, and that's going to be my billions place, so I'm going to kind of use that for reference. Um, what's going to go in the next section, so in the millions, will be 736, and that's going to be followed by a comma, so 736, comma. In the thousands period, I've got the number 351, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write 351. 1, follow that with a comma, just like there's in the words up here, and then the end of my number is going to be 602, and so I write 602 as 602, there's no tens there, um, and now I have written out that very large number in standard form, and again I can go back and double check, if I read it out loud I would say 4,736,000,000, 602, and that would be uh, correct, and it would match the word names that I was given up above. So that's uh, the end of our examples here. Thanks for watching, and uh, tune in again.